And then I went on to um, play boys high school hockey. So again, played boys all the way up and then played women's hockey for the first time at University of New Hampshire. And that was a unique experience to kind of see the flip side of it, you know, go from the boys side to the girls side and really understand what it was like to have that bonding experience in the locker room. I thought I had it with the boys. And then I realized that I was missing out on a big piece when I played women's and girls hockey. And so that piece of it gave me a whole new perspective on the game and on my ability to, to not only be a big part of it, but also to be a big part of a group that had the same purpose and the same experience. And so transitioning from the boys to the, to the women's and then back to the men's again, which I played men's professional hockey, it was all this wild, unique experience where I got to see both sides of it. And so when you think about the girls and women's and sports initiatives and some of the things that have come up with female sports over the years, I was on the, um, I don't want to say mature, earlier side. Um, I'm more mature, um, so I was on the earlier side of a lot of that. So I got to see, I was there and present when soccer made their mark and they started to get paid big time money for um, for playing in front of all these fans. I was there on the cusp of, you know, with the national team and helping to understand the fight of not getting paid. Um, being post-college and trying to scrape and scrap to find jobs um, to make sure that we stayed in shape, you know, to play hockey. And so I saw both sides of it. And so it's a, a incredible to be on the early side and understand the struggles that girls and women went through to make sure that they could play the sport that they loved at a high level. It was 1996 and I was with the national team at the time and the shift in the ability for girls not only to have the opportunity but to have a yeah this is great this is accept more accepted it was more understood it was I think more understood in circles where it wasn't at first and so I think the growth of the women's game through that period of time really um, not only created opportunities for young girls but also created opportunities for um, for coaches for female coaches for people in a, a role of mentorship. That piece of it is so important that I think gets lost in the shuffle because I think the girls having the experience to play is one thing, but having female mentors is a really huge part of the development of young girls, not only from a, a hockey development side, but from a personal level of seeing people in a confident position, female females in a confident role. That actually probably was a bigger growth, even though it wasn't numbers, a bigger growth out of that um, women's you know, Olympic team added and just the development of USA Hockey being a part of the girls and women's initiatives. When I came into this business, it was about mentoring. Um, I knew that I always had a psychology background, but I always wanted to take student athletes and make sure I still kept the piece of having them understand that it's okay to be strong. It's okay to be a female and in a power position. It's okay to be a leader. It's okay to speak your mind. It's okay to speak out um, in any way, shape or form because you have to be confident in that and you have to build those skills along the way. And so I always took it as a, I want to mentor these athletes into that. And sometimes it gets lost along the way with the, the, the game and the wins and the losses and all of that and the personal desires to succeed in, in the competition realm. Um, but I think I always keep coming back to it. And I think what I want the female athletes that I coach to take out of this is that you can stand up in front of the group and you can have a voice and not appear to be, um, for lack of better terms, um, how do I say this without saying it, for, uh, you can be an equal to a man. You can be an equal to a male when they speak up. So the same, it should be the same perception, whether it's a female or a male speaking up in front of a group. And I think the perception is sometimes that the personalities are different. And I think in the end, it's important for the young athletes to know that a strong, confident female voice is what they should strive for as opposed to sitting in the background and taking back seat to a male voice.